Python 3.14 is here, and while some new features like t-strings are getting a lot of attention, I'd like to introduce you to a lesser known one. Let's talk about PEP 7.65. I'm working in Python 3.13 at the moment. Say we have this function, don't use return in finally, but we decide to ignore that instruction because we don't know any better. We'll take a list and an index to slice it. If the index is valid, let's return a scaled up version of the value, just for good measure. If the index is not valid, let's say so. Finally, let's return true to indicate that the function completed successfully. When we pass an invalid index like 4, the function operates as we expect. The index did not work, and we get true that the function is finished. When we pass it a valid index, we get confirmation that the index worked, but wait a minute, we're supposed to get the value back. Instead, we only got true again. Now let me change my interpreter to Python 3.14. Immediately, we'll see that PyLance is giving us a warning that we're doing something wrong. And when we try to initialize this function, we get a syntax warning telling us not to do this. This is because the return statement in the finally block will always override any other return statement in the try accept control flow. If you previously used return, continue, or break in a finally block, you may have had no idea that this was the reason that your code wasn't executing as expected. At least in Python 3.14, we can finally lay this anti pattern to rest. Like and subscribe to learn more about how 